First Timothy chapter 4. First Timothy chapter 4. <laughs> Things taught by demons. So demons teach. So this morning, I wish to share with us on what I'm calling the spirit of the last days. The Bible is saying the spirit clearly says that in latter times, the last days, that's what it means there. In the latter times or the last days, some will abandon the faith and follow deceiving spirits. So, there is something called the spirit of the last days. Now, let me explain. The last days is a dispensation. It's a period. And within that period, there, there is a major spirit that will be ruling that dispensation. That's what the writer is saying here. And Jesus talked about it in Matthew chapter 24. We will also be looking at that. So you see the Bible is saying men will follow deceiving spirits. So there will be spirits that are in charge of that dispensation called the last days. Why? Why should we teach a message like this? Why? Is it to scare people? No. Why should we teach something like this? Number one, so that you may know where you stand. Number two, so that you are conscious of what is happening around you. And number three, so that you may know whether you are being affected by the same. The spirit of the last days. is spirit. So the Bible is saying, the spirit clearly says that in latter times, some will abandon the faith. These are believers. Yeah. You can't abandon what you do not have. So these are believers it is defining. So he's saying in the last days, some believers will abandon faith and they will abandon faith under the influence of deceiving spirits and things taught by demons. Can I tell you something? We are right in the last days. I tell you. When you look around and when you look at the scriptures, you will know that we, we are in the last days. But then, there are characteristics that defines this, which the Bible has given us. Some of the things you look at and you know, you are either being affected or we are in the middle of the last days. Are you getting what I'm saying? Are we in the church this morning? So, we are going to share those characteristics of the spirit of the last days. When the spirit of the last days is the one influencing or affecting or ruling, what happens? What are the byproducts? For instance, when a bad king rules, we know what happens. Is that true? When a good man rules, we know what happens. So when the spirit of the last days is affecting people, what happens? Number one. The product number one of the spirit of the last days is the coldness of Christians. What did I call it? They become cold. Cool. People used to be active in service. Now they are cool. People used to pray. They are now cool. 
though we used to be very active, they are now cool. Is the spirit of the last days. Look at what the Bible is saying. Matthew 24. Can we read this? So number one, they will turn from the faith. Now, can you look for the scripture that is saying, I don't remember what verse it is, but it is here. I think verse 20 something. And because of this, the love of many. I think 24. Yeah. Look at this. Can we read one to go? We will do what? Coldness. If you look around many Christians that you knew five years ago, seven years ago, ten years ago, you will see this. Coldness. People you knew to be very active. Very active for God. Now they are cool. They are cold. somebody. Do you know some? Ask somebody, are you aware that the spirit of the last days is almost capturing you? Are you aware? <laughs> yeah. Some already have been captured. It's a spirit. It's called the spirit of the last day. It's influence. The effect of it influence in the world. The influence number one is the coldness of believers. The spirit of the last days. The first thing, why? Because it knows you can't control what is hot. You can't, you will not need, you are wasting, 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 Flies go where there is cold, where it is cold, not where it is hot. That's why some people are now experiencing what they could not experience before. Why? They have become cold. The flies are everywhere. They are getting infected by what could not affect them before. Because now, what was scaring away, you know demons are like flies. Demons are like flies. They like going where it is cool. Cool. Look at someone ask them, are you aware you are already captured? <laughs> cool. is the first product of the spirit of the last days. Because of the increase of wickedness, the love of many shall do what? Yeah. That is what is happening. And when your love grows cold, the security of God goes. Now, anything that was not attacking before can attack you now. The devils that could not reach you, now they can reach you. Because you have become cool. You are cold now. Anything can step on a cold pan and get away. You can't step on a hot pan and get away with it. Yeah. That is what is confusing people. People are wondering, so and so, never used to experience this, never used to go through this. What, what is happening now? The spirit of the last day. You can't joke with something hot. Because of the increase of wickedness, the love of most will grow. Will grow what? Yeah. I told you one of the reasons why we are teaching this is that so that you may see where you stand. And when a teaching like this comes to you, be honest with yourself. 
don't hide behind something. You see, I've realized that believers will do everything apart from evaluating themselves. Christians don't ask themselves, where am I coming from? My yesterday, was it better than my today? If I put my yesterday here and I put my today here, which is better? Where was I better? Was it in my yesterday or in my today? Where was I praying better? Was it in, in my yesterday or in my today? I'm telling you as a pastor, I'm telling you, many Christians today are under the arrest of the spirit of the last days. They are already arrested. They are in the custody of the spirit of the last days. What is happening to the world is happening to them. What the world is suffering, they are also suffering. Why? The spirit, the spirit controlling the world is also, has also arrested them. The love of most. Most means many. Is that true? Yes. They used to love prayer before. Now it has fallen. They used to love church before. Now it has gone down. They used to love service. Now it has gone down. Because of weakness. Increase of wickedness. Are you seeing what I'm telling you? It's called the spirit of the last days. The spirit of the last days. Even as I talk to you this morning, like five years ago, five years, seven years. Take it back. You will know whether you are the captain or you are Charlie. I like the way you are quiet. I'm beginning to like quiet years. Because of the increase of wickedness, the love of most will grow what? Christians are never associated with cold. Are we together? Yes. They are associated with hot, fire, and all these things. So when cold comes, it's very dangerous. Sasa nataka uongee na mtu muulize ukiangalia maisha yako vizuri. Hapa lazima kila mtu ataongea. Muulize ukiangalia maisha yako mzuri. Unaweza kusema uh, uko hot ama cool ukiangalia mahali ulianza. <laughs> ukiangalia mahali ulianza as a Christian. The things you used to do for God, your prayer life, your wonder life, your church life. How can you define yourself? Because of the increase of wickedness, the love of most will grow cold. It's called the spirit of the last days. And that takes me to my second point. The spirit of the last days influences and orchestrates increase of wickedness. Yeah. And this increase of wickedness, you will not only see it in the world, it will also try to enter church. You see wickedness in the church. You see the way a brother is, eating, is treating another brother, you realize this is wickedness. Am I preaching here today? You see, this my preaching doesn't need your encouragement. I encouraged myself before I came. Yeah. 
This one eh, is one of my favorites. I've never preached it before. So you are eating fresh from the kitchen of heaven. You should appreciate God. Yeah. You look at the way the sister will talk about another sister. You realize it's only wickedness that can make somebody destroy another like that. The spirit of the last days organizes for the increase of wickedness even among the believers. Increase of wickedness. That means the spirit of the last days is behind the increase of wickedness even in church. 